Hello there, Tenacious Crew. This video covers counters that are can be at least risky and sometimes are pretty risky, but sometimes we just have to attempt it. Um, so um, we'll cover how to uh, defeat Jabba, JMK, and Ray with the stack and defense cron. Um, since those teams potentially can be pretty toxic. And JMK, I guess, specifically the one with the no revive on cat. So the first counter that we're gonna look at is uh, Afra with her Kron against uh, Jabba with her with the with uh, Bushleya and her respective Kron. Um, for this to work, you do need Afra Kron at level nine and also the level six where it resets the cooldowns and grants the 100% turn meter on the first basic by the scoundrels. And even then, if you get unlucky and they target Afra, uh, I've seen uh, really good players like Sanjita and Calvin Awesome lose despite, you know, I'm sure they have awesome crons and great modding. Um, so this is a risky uh, counter. However, um, I think I have a solution to make it more reliable. And I'm working on the video for that. But anyway, when we attempt it, we just uh, uh, want to, uh, I think that the key is to get um, one of the droids to use their basic. This way, Afra takes a turn, then the droid takes another turn, and then Afra takes yet another turn. And basically this will help her uh, either heal up the droids or really push the cooldowns uh, even further. Like here, uh, 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 BT2 uh, used um, the basic, then Afro went, then BT2 used uh, another uh, uh, ability. And now we have uh, Finally, we have um, Chrysanthemum in uh, damage immunity. So, um, unfortunately, uh, the way the thermal detonators work is they um, damage based of health, but also damage based of your crit damage, and I think your like crit chance and your offense too. So uh, one of the ways I think this could, uh, the dangers of this could be mitigated is by um, um, not giving Afra crit damage uh, triangle. Uh, I've seen some uh, players, even in the Kyber one, have it, and I think that actually works against her. Uh, but anyway, in this. Um, um, specific situation um, uh, the hot cartel uh, team was kind of spreading the damage so we were able to survive uh, we got Crescenton out we got uh, Bouchelet out and you know Crescenton again and now it's just an easy um, easy task of cleaning up Jabba so it could be tricky and it could be RNG dependent um, but I do have a solution which I will cover in a later video. So um, as this battle comes to an end, the next one we'll cover would be JMK and specifically with the no revive on Cat. Um, obviously you can do a mirror, but maybe you have uh, yours designated to take out a Jabba or um, even Ray. Um, so, um, and maybe you have your own um, um, Reva Inquisitors on defense. And even if you want to use them, I feel like uh, the no revive part really messes it up. I've seen some of my opponents um, fail in their um, GAC history using that. So, um, 
Um, we're using C, uh, armor, and GBA. Um, we're not gonna wait till three stacks. We'll just give uh, one stack, uh, I mean, two stacks of uh, uh, best car to C. And uh, basically the hope is that um, we can new cat and the tank, whether it's Mace or GK. Mace is more annoying because he can ability block, obviously. So the counter can give you even more dangerous, uh, to be honest. Uh, I mean, I guess one way to uh, address that would be um, use uh, Watt instead of armor. But armor kind of gives, uh, I think, even the two stacks will add more health. Um, so um, that would be pretty useful because JMK calls an early, um, early ult usually, and then uh, his crew just goes ham. So here we were able to go between Mace's turn. We nuked Cat. And here, sometimes C can uh, beat JMK one on one, but sometimes it doesn't work. So here we have um, JMK in red. We're gonna use our Hux uh, Quick Strike team. And uh, yes, uh, it's also a little risky because while uh, JMK has his uh, bonus protection up, he cannot be crit. Uh, but eventually they just deal a lot of damage they deal, they go through the, his um, um, bonus protection, and once they start critting, it's easy. All right, and the third counter that we're gonna cover is this pretty crazy uh, Ray, Ben, and usually JTR uh, with uh, the level six stack in D, and if, especially it's uh, risky if paired with serious defense in stats already so one approach um, would be JMK uh, if you do have the cat no revive it will be easier if you don't again that you have to do even more of a like a dance with Ben um, while also you know dealing with the fact that their defense, uh, race defense, race team, uh, getting their defense higher and higher. So um, if it's JTR, I think that's uh, JMK is the safest, if not the only. Um, I mean, I, uh, counter. I guess unless you want to use mirror, which is beneficial because yes, you can win. But again, I've seen. Even the best players lose, and um, then you also give up the opportunity to use uh, Ray, your own Ray on defense. Um, so the strategy is we want to wait until uh, the third person, uh, usually JTR, takes uh, their turn. Then we will nuke with uh, uh, Cat. And now we need to get, um, well, we want, as you can see, GK is already. Uh, Kind of a feeling pretty bad uh yeah there's a there's a savior so uh we really want to try to keep uh, gk as healthy as possible sometimes it might even make sense to uh, call an early ult i uh, just have to kind of play it um depending on uh, your specific situation but you know we want to get rain to damage immunity ben into damage immunity then we want to time if you do have the no revive cron we can just wait for uh, uh, J uh, for Ray to get in yellow, you know, get Ben weak enough where Cat, uh, you know, can just take him out with one big shot. And then it's just uh, cleaning up uh, solo Ray. And if you don't have the no revive, then obviously you want to actually t take them both to probably red use JMK to take out Ben and then Cat will take out will have to take out Ray because otherwise if JMK takes a turn when uh, um, you know Ben's gonna come back 
Um, so here we got uh, Ray into damage immunity once, uh, Ben into damage immunity once as well. Here we go, Cat with the casual 230,000 crit. And now it's just uh, about uh, surviving uh, Ray's ult and uh, taking her out. I might have misplayed at this point because Ray will kill Cat. So at least we got the. Uh, um, yeah, right here. At least we got the armor shred on on uh, Ray at this point, and um, JMK was able to um, get through her with her big with his big hits. But as you can see, you know he's not really doing that much damage. I mean, we're talking 10k, 3k, 6k. I think once JMK's big uh, the big hit ability starts ramping up uh we actually and i guess he gets more mastery from his uh ult as well then it seems like we are kind of uh, having a chance uh but yeah the stacking uh defense on ray is a really really strong synergy with her so um as this battle winds down, I'm going to talk about uh, some other options. I think if um, Ray still has the stack in D, but the third is somebody like Cal, it's actually a weaker comp. And in that case, uh, Starkiller is actually a viable option. Because he, especially if you have the second Omicron, um, the Omicron on the one that uh, deals extra damage uh, from his uh, for each uh, buff dispelled, and um, Cal gives a lot of buffs, and so I think the play with that uh, situation would be yeah. Here we go. We finally took her down just in time. So uh, the play would be to kind of keep Cal alive so he can uh, continue, uh, you know, adding debuffs, I mean, adding buffs. Although, I mean, them having shock might prevent some buffs from happening. But either way, here I, um, I think uh, in this specific matchup, my Afra failed. So I had to use JMK on Jabba. And I had no choice but to try uh, Starkiller against uh, the Saray comp with the stack and defense. And as you can see there, especially with the crit hit immunity, they're dealing uh, very little damage. Um, I do get lucky with some uh, turn order sequencing in here. Um, as... Um, I think I get to do a stagger. Yeah, I get some uh, some timely stuns, and I also yes yeah, get uh, stagger applied a few times, which helps um, uh, my team to uh, you know keep dealing more damage. Uh, now we got uh, rain to uh, damage immunity, and Star Killer is unleashed. We're gonna hold on to the Star Destroyer of healing as Zareth calls it. Um, and you see, again, I think the reason uh, Cal is weaker because if JTR was there, at this point, somebody would have been ability blocked uh, or there would have been a healing immunity from her uh, applied to one of our tunes. But because uh, Cal is the third, um, we'll be able to use um, the Star Destroyer heal I think it's a point around here. So uh, Ray is in yellow. We're trying to get um, one of them into uh, damage immunity since uh, she's going to uh, 
do the whirlwind again. Okay, here we, again, once again, we got uh, um, Timely Stagger. Okay, now Cal is in damage immunity. Now Ben is the only one who hasn't uh, got to the damage immunity just yet. Okay, but now we're gonna take uh, the whirlwind, the whirlwind to the face. Uh, get her inspired stacks removed. I think next time we we have Star Killer, we're gonna do the Star Destroyer. No, I guess uh, well, I guess we're feeling frisky over here. Um, and here I think we'll try to do another stagger. It procs again. So maybe like a high tenacity build uh, ray might uh, you know be problematic. Um, and now we have to again plan so that um, if we take out Ben, the next turn is not Palpatine. I probably could have. Could have taken out Ben here, um, but the, the, that might have been a misplay. So I think here, since the yeah, JTR, I mean Ray is in uh, her ult, that's when we'll use the heal to help us tank her ult. Although sometimes in those situations, it might be actually beneficial to lose uh, Palpatine because this will keep uh, Ben dead permanently. But anyway, so uh, we're tanking pretty well. Uh, let's see, now we take out Ben, take out Ray, and we got the victory. So hope you find this video helpful and until next time.